Hello, I'm Laura Schwabries. I'm an associate professor of public health at Purdue University. My team and I recently published a paper in the Journal of Medical Internet Research, JMIR, called Rapport Building in Written Crisis Services, Qualitative Content Analysis. In our study, Rapport Building in Written Crisis Services, Qualitative Content Analysis, we studied how crisis counselors can use written language to build rapport and relationships with help seekers. This is a little bit of a unique situation for helping professionals. Normally, you're either in person or you're talking over the phone. And there's all sorts of nuance that can come along with using your voice. So I can convey different information depending on my tone, my pacing, my pauses that I take. But all of that nuance is lost in written communication. You just have the black and white words on the page. Which means that you need to be intentional when you're trying to build rapport. So what we found is that many of the strategies already used by helping professionals, we call them active listening skills, work in written communication also. So you can keep doing things like asking open questions, paraphrasing, reflecting feelings, uh, conveying unconditional positive regard, which means that you care about the person regardless of their situation or what they've done. All of those things still work. But because you're not in, in the same room as the person, because they're not able to hear your uh, minimal verbal attenders, those mm-hmm, yeah, oh, those, those information, those little words that we use to convey that we're listening, you have to do that other ways. One of the ways that you can do that is you can really tailor your comments to the situation. So rather than saying, that's so hard, which could apply to so many different situations, you can say things like, it's so hard when, and then share a little bit. We're working with kids who are experiencing maltreatment. So one example that we might use is, it's so hard when your mom says those awful things to you. And while we study this in written crisis services, we think that it probably applies to all written helping professionals. It's, it makes a lot of sense that people would be able to use those same strategies to build any kind of written relationship. We chose to submit our research to JMIR publications for a couple of reasons. First, we thought it was a great fit for the topic. We think our research has implications for almost anyone who's trying to build rapport in written language. And so much of the internet and digital communication happens in writing. So we hope that we would reach a broad audience of people who would be interested in that kind of information. Second, it's such a well-regarded journal. We were able to publish in JMIR, which is the flagship uh, journal of JMIR publications. It has such a great impact factor, and we think it is one of the most well-respected journals in the field.